Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to the fourth Christmas update. So, uh, we've done three updates of Christmas so far. Um, started on, on the 1st of uh, November. We've been pretty spaced out over the past uh, couple of weeks, but you will notice them getting more regular uh, from this week onwards. So, um, we're going to start to do them more frequently from around the middle part of uh, November. We always start doing Christmas updates more frequently, but this is your fourth Christmas update. So, we'll have a look at CFSV2 nine monthly forecast from Metro Seal dot fr to see uh what the cfsv2 model is forecasting for christmas uh for uh, for tonight's update just to say that the 11th winter 2018-19 update uh was released earlier on today uh it's another epic uh so the video at the moment is on the home page um and in an hour or two it will be placed on the winter updates page there'll be an extensive written summary that goes with it as well so you can watch that video on demand on the winter updates page and read the written summary whenever you would like to um, do that. So I'll get on with the four Christmas update for you uh, right now just to talk you through the model again. So uh, we're using the CFS V2 nine monthly forecast uh, at metroseal.fr. The link to metroseal is on the links page at Gaz Office and in the description at YouTube. So um, check these charts out uh, for yourself. Um, so we're using the midday run. We're going to try and use the same run all the time and then we can't be told off for cherry picking any particular outcome. This is purely the way that the uh, charts are coming out as we are doing the updates. The CFSV2 is run four times a day, midday, um, and also uh, six in the evening, also midnight and six o'clock in the morning. Same as for GFS, is run four times a day, but we always try and stick to the same uh, run all the time, which is the midday run. So this was generated midday yesterday, uh, 10th of November. There's always a 24 hour delay on these charts uh, coming through. So let's see what CFSV2 is forecasting tonight for your fourth Christmas update. We're going to start off on the 10th of uh, December, just a little under a month away. And also we're in a fairly coldish pattern actually at this point. We've got high pressure sitting to the south of Greenland and low pressure in the central part of the Atlantic. Also got a bit of a ridge down across France and Spain. So we're trying to introduce milder air from the south, but we have got a legacy of quite cold air sitting over and to the north and the east of the country. Let's run through and see what happens. So we move up towards the middle part of December and uh, again we're trying to introduce those milder winds from the south but not really managing to do so uh, and it's with cold air here on the 14th of December that is digging in from the north and the northeast. There's an area of low pressure running in across England and Wales that could well be bringing um, snow to parts of England and Wales with cold air digging in from the north and from the northeast on the northern side of this area of low pressure. So that does look rather winchy there as you're heading into the middle of December. Now we're up to about 15%, so firmly in the middle part of the month, and we're in a cold north or northeasty wind. We've got high pressure around Iceland and low pressure sitting over uh, Denmark and northern Germany. And this is pulling in uh, a really quite cold, uh, sort of northeasterly, almost easterly uh, type wind. So that could be bringing snow in from the east. This is a but cold to very cold uh, middle part of December showing up on this particular midday run of the uh, GFS for tonight's fourth Christmas update. Now we're a little bit beyond the middle part of December now and we find the high pressure still out to the north and to the west, although it's weakening a little bit, but it's still there, still keeping the wind in from an east, uh, sort of northeast to easterly direction. So it's still cold at this point. Probably risk of snow is easing down, but uh, you would certainly have really quite significant and substantial nighttime frost, maybe in severe nighttime frost there as we go into the 17th of December. Let's start running up towards Christmas then and see what happens. So we've got this legacy of cold air, of course, across the country here on the 18th to the 19th of December under an area of high pressure. You'll be talking about very frosty nights. Daytime temperatures probably struggling to get much above freezing. Also freezing fog patches as well. You can see that to the west of the country, the Atlantic is beginning to start to wind itself up around green and low pressure is beginning to get going. So this ridge, and it is still there and with the legacy of cold air, it would still be very cold here on the 19th of December. Mainly dry, no snow, but very cold, frosty and icy condition. But you see this ridge is very gradually, uh, day by day, being weakened as the Atlantic flow just starts to get a little bit more energy into it. 
So we get up towards the countdown of Christmas and we find this high pressure beginning to slip away to our east. So here we go on the 21st of December, starting to move low pressure in from the Atlantic. Now, of course, we've got a legacy of cold air uh, across the UK. So as this low pressure is moving in, it is trying to shunt away that cold air and bring milder air in from off the Atlantic. That could be a situation to get snow as well. So in just a couple of days before Christmas now, 21st of December, and we could well be seeing outbreaks of rain or snow working in from off the uh, Atlantic as the Atlantic has a go at shunting away that uh, cold air. In fact, there is a little bit of a stall taking place along that front. So uh, actually the cold air, at least for the eastern part of the country, is winning that battle as we head up towards uh, Christmas, which is the 22nd of December. We're still more or less in cold air. Uh, and again, there would be a legacy of uh, snow on the ground, I would have thought, by this point. So all looking very, very seasonable, I have to say, running up towards Christmas. However, we get towards uh, the day before Christmas Eve, so it's kind of like the eve of Christmas Eve, I suppose, and the high pressure then is beginning to move down towards Spain and Portugal. So as we get towards Christmas Eve, we start to introduce much milder winds from off the Atlantic. So here we are on Christmas Eve with a southwesterly wind beginning to develop across Scotland and Northern Ireland as the ridge is collapsing and forming uh, to the west of Portugal. So for Scotland and Northern Ireland, you're falling out there, it's turning a lot milder, probably outbreaks of rain moving in off the Atlantic. I think for England and Wales, we're probably still just about clinging on to that cold air under this little nose of high pressure. But now um, the days do look like they're numbered for uh, for that cold weather. So this is how Christmas Day is looking, and it is looking a lot milder then. Uh, we're starting to move a weather system in off the Atlantic. That will be bringing outbreaks of rain, a fall of lying snow, uh, and much milder air coming in from off the Atlantic. So really quite cold and wintry before Christmas, but we get to Christmas and uh, it turns a lot milder. So Christmas Day looks like that. Probably bringing rain to Scotland and Northern Ireland, mostly dry for England and Wales, uh, and all places becoming milder with a fall of lying snow taking place. That's Boxing Day, and the Atlantic is now increasingly uh, ramping up, so um, this looks rather stormy, actually, for Boxing Day. Wet and windy weather is coming into the UK, particularly for northern and western parts of the country. Gale force winds up in the north as well, so the Atlantic uh, really unleashed. And then we go beyond Christmas and it turns very unsettled indeed, really quite stormy as we begin to move into the period between Christmas and New Year. This is 28th of uh, December, looking wet and windy, tight packed ice bar, so it's pretty uh, pretty um, stormy as well. The gale, severe gale force winds as we head up towards the New Year period. This is the 30, 31st of December, so I've got a real Atlantic storm going on uh, there. Central pressure of that low pressure in the Atlantic is 935 millibars. That's a really, really deep area of low pressure indeed. And that's bringing us, bringing us, bringing us a um, stormy New Year's Eve. So we end 2018 on a very wet, windy, wild, stormy uh, sort of note. And those conditions continue into New Year's Day as well. It remains very unsettled. Another little area of low pressure sweeping in off the Atlantic, bringing more gales and outbreaks of heavy rain. So once the Atlantic breaks that cold weather down over Christmas, uh, it, it really is unleashed. We're going to a very unsettled spell of weather. Just run you through the opening days of the new year and it's staying mild. We've got high pressure continuing to be sitting to the south of the country with low pressure out to the north and to the west as well. So staying unsettled, staying quite mild here as we're running through the first half of the January 2019. So once that cold weather, it is really quite cold and wintry on this fourth update before Christmas, but once that cold weather is uh, pushed away over Christmas or for Christmas, uh, it never gets cold again up to the middle part of January on this fourth update. So it's a very different update uh, than we've had so far. The other three have tended to favour colder weather after Christmas, actually, around New Year and early January. This one is bringing all the cold weather before Christmas, 
breaks it down over Christmas, turns milder over Christmas, and then introduces uh, Atlantic winds and wet and windy weather for New Year and on into January. So I don't think we've got a train yet, really, for um, this Christmas. We are doing this to try and find a train within the mod. If you get the same scenario cropping up, run after run after run, or update after update after update, then we'll be able to say we've got a train. I don't think we've got a train, actually, at the moment. Uh, there is a train there but there's going to be some cold weather at some point but the timing of that cold weather is changing from run to run so I don't think we've got a change yet uh, but then again we're only on four updates and we're still a very very long way from Christmas of course so the Christmas updates will start to get more frequent from this week the next update is going to be on Wednesday and then after that they'll start to get uh, much more frequent so come back on Wednesday for the fifth Christmas update um, and uh, that's it. That's your four Christmas update for uh, tonight. So don't forget to check out the um, the 11th winter 2018-9 forecast. That video is currently on the homepage. And later on today, that video uh, will be placed on the winter updates page. At 10 minutes, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.